I'm Jeffrey Pang. I'm Kevin Pang. Today we're making the most famous Chinese takeout dish ever. General So Chicken. If you've ever ordered Chinese takeout, I almost guarantee you've had General So's chicken. It's a crispy, boneless chicken, savory sauce, perfect with rice. Yeah, and here's the thing about General So's chicken. If you get it at a restaurant, it's absolutely delicious. But if you order it takeout, if you could get it delivered, it's just never as satisfying. It's not as crisp, right? Yeah, but... Why Why not we make it at home? Yeah. It's easy. Yeah, it's really, really easy. Yeah, it's easy. We're gonna start off with the sauce, which will also be our marinade for the chicken. We're gonna start off with a quarter cup of white vinegar, which we'll add to this bowl here. To that, we're gonna add three tablespoons of soy sauce. We have three tablespoons of sugar. And to that, we're gonna add two tablespoons of cornstarch. We love adding cornstarch because it helps yes. the sauce get very silky. Okay, yes. Yeah. We also have a cup and a half of water. And finally, we have half a cup of hoisin sauce. Now we Cantonese, we use hoisin sauce a lot, right? Yes, we use a lot of hoisin sauce. And uh, in Cantonese, we call it hoisin jiao. It's savory and sweet. Yeah. And uh, make with fermented soya bean. Yeah, it's almost like barbecue sauce. Yes. Like, like Chinese barbecue, barbecue sauce. sauce. All right. So whisk this together, just like that. And this is looking pretty good here. Now, the star of the show is, of course, chicken. This recipe calls for chicken breast, but we're using chicken thighs, which have been cut into one inch pieces. It's going to take a little bit longer to fry, but we'll cross that bridge when we get there. All right. This is in a zipper top bag. We're gonna add six tablespoons of the marinade. And six, great. You can push all the air out and just sort of make sure the marinade's covering everything. How long does this need to marinate for? It's about 30 minutes. Okay, great. Before I put this in the fridge, we're gonna measure out two cups of the sauce. We're gonna be cooking down this sauce. It's gonna become nice and glossy and silky. Mm -hmm. And then there's gonna be some sauce remaining. We're gonna add that to the batter. But first, two cups into this measuring cup. It's about two cups. We have a little bit of sauce remaining. We're gonna cook this now in just a second, but I'm gonna put this in the fridge and let it hang out. Now it's time to cook down the sauce, so what are we gonna use? We have the wok. I turn it on to medium heat. To medium heat? To medium heat. Okay, this looks good. Now I'm gonna add a tablespoon of vegetable oil, mm -hmm. okay? And we're gonna wait until this starts to shimmer. And as always, we're going to use our favorite Chinese aromatics. It's garlic. Garlic? Yeah. That's four cloves of garlic and ginger. We have two tablespoons of freshly grated ginger and of course, chili flakes. red chili flakes. Great. So we'll just let that hang out. You don't want to burn it. Just only take about one minute. Okay, great. Once you start smelling it, that is when you know you'll be able to add the sauce. Yeah, you can see the garlic is dancing, right? Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's popping like popcorn, yeah, yeah. right? <laughs> yes. This looks good. And yeah. now we're going to add our two cups of marinade. Okay. And you're going to want to whisk this constantly. And because there's cornstarch in the sauce, yes. you're going to start to see it get a little bit thick and also glossy. And this will take how long? About two minutes. Two minutes or so. See, it's getting nice and dark brown. Once that is done, we're gonna set that aside and then we'll get to battering the chicken. It's been half an hour. We've taken the chicken out of the fridge. We patted it with paper towels to get rid of some of the excess marinade. And now it's time to batter the chicken. So in front of us, we have two shallow bowls. The first one, that's the wet bowl. We've got three egg whites, which we're gonna whisk in a minute. And then the second bowl, we're gonna add first cup and a half of cornstarch. We have half a cup of all-purpose flour. We have the remaining marinade, which we're gonna add to 
the flour and the cornstarch. And last but not least, we have our secret ingredient. This is baking soda. Why do we want to use baking soda? Because we are adding wet sauce. Baking soda help browning and keep the chicken crispy. Perfect. Okay, so we're gonna add it to there. You only need about a half a teaspoon. So why don't you sort of like stir everything together and I will whisk the egg whites and you just want it to be slightly foamy. That's what we're looking for. It's okay that it get a little bit lumpy. Yeah, it doesn't need to be too well combined. Just uh, you want it to look like coarse meal, a little bit craggy, that's good. All right, this egg white looks good as well. We're gonna take now half of the chicken thighs and we're gonna put that into the egg whites. And again, we want it to pat it, not exactly dry, but just to get rid of some of that excess marinade here, okay? And we're gonna combine that just like this. And now we'll add it to our semi-dry cornstarch and flour mixture, okay? So now we wanna use our hands and we wanna press the batter. Do you wanna do this at the same time? Yes. Okay, it's like a, like a father and son craft activity, right? <laughs> okay, use both hands. Okay. 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 Let's get dirty here. I think that's looking pretty good. Press, press into there, like you're giving it a uh, Chinese massage. You don't have to press too hard. Yeah, you just want the coating to adhere, but yes. uh, be, be firm, but you don't have to uh, yes. be like Superman here. Yes. Okay, I think we can even go a little bit quicker, right? Just like that. Patient. <laughs> Patience, all right. I think I've heard that about 10 times this week already. Be patient, son. So that's the first batch. We're gonna do the same thing with the second batch. It's deep fried crispy chicken time, my favorite time of the day. We have a Dutch oven, four cups of vegetable oil, and what's the temperature we're looking for? Uh, we want 350 degrees. Okay, 350 Fahrenheit. Use a digital thermometer if you can, but you didn't have thermometers growing up, right? When the time I grew up, we don't have that technology. Yeah. Okay, my mom's always use her face to feel the temperature. <laughs> of course, you know, I would like to use a chopstick. Yeah, you, you can see the bubbles on a chopstick and you can see the oil is moving. So that means it's a good temperature. But we have the technology now, so please use a thermometer. <laughs> All right, as always, we're gonna fry these in two batches, okay? So uh, I'm gonna be very careful as I place this into our hot oil. Yeah. Remember, you don't want to overcrowd the pan, which is why we want to fry this in two separate batches because that's going to bring the oil temperature down too quickly and you're not going to get even crisp frying. All right, a few more pieces. All right, and one more piece. That looks good. Okay. All right. Make sure they're not stick together. Yeah, you don't want them sticking together. Okay. So, after that, you, you don't want to stir anymore. Right. But you need to turn it, the chicken pieces, the halfway. Okay, so halfway between frying, you want yes. to turn the chicken pieces. Yeah. Now, if you're following our original recipe with chicken breasts, it's going to take three minutes to cook. But if you're using chicken thighs like we are, that's going to take a minute longer. It'll take about four minutes to cook. Mm -hmm. I love the smell of fried chicken. <laughs> Do you like fried chicken? Son, you love Fried chicken. Yes, but I love fast food fried chicken. Yeah, I I think you spend all your pocket money, you know, to buy the chicken. So while kids play arcade games or bought books, <laughs> I went to... <laughs> you buy Kentucky fried chicken. Oh my God, <laughs> great. Can you edit that part out? How can I tell that this is done? So you can see the color of the chicken. Now turn. Golden brown. Ah, uh, okay. Okay. So with chicken thighs, again, it's gonna take about four minutes. Chicken breasts, a little quicker, three minutes. Do you think this is done? I told you so many times, be patient, okay? okay. Be patient. All right, okay. Okay. Now it's done? Now it's done. All right, great. So I use a spider skimmer, yeah. one of my favorite tools. Every time you need to. Shake the Shake, okay, get the excess oil out. Yeah. We've got a clean plate lined with paper towels. 
Look at that. I can just eat this just like this without the sauce. So we're done with the first batch. We're gonna bring the temperature back up to 350. We'll fry the second batch and then it's general so it's chicken time. <laughs> Chicken's been all fried up. It's crispy. It's golden brown. It's beautiful. You can actually just like eat these just right now, right? Hey, Kevin, you never change. You always, always try to steal the chicken. Okay, it's too hot. You eat so early. Yeah, well, some things never change. All right, <laughs> let's get back to the general sauce chicken. The sauce, which has been hanging out here, we're bringing it back up to heat. This is medium low. You want it barely simmering. And uh, we can just throw the whole thing in here, right? Yeah, you, you add all the chicken. All the chicken. In, this, in oh. the sauce. All right, so this looks ready. And I'm just gonna dump this right in here. Okay. And what do you want to do now? Just pour all the chicken together. Just toss everything together? Yeah, yeah. Okay. And this does not take long. I mean, no, 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 don't take like, long. Otherwise like less get, than a minute, right? Otherwise, we get soft. Yeah, you don't want it to get soggy. Yeah, just to co make a coating. Okay, great. Look at this. This is done. Okay, great. Actually, I'm going to use this plate instead. I think this looks nicer. Okay. And I will help you plate this. Mm. And look at that. So colorful. The freshest, hottest, and certainly crispiest generoso chicken you'll ever have. Now you can eat it. Hey, Kevin, do you know what is the most famous Chinese food in US? What is it? Mongolia beef and general so chicken. General so chicken and Mongolian beef. Yeah, it's called Mongao. Right. So who is general so anyway? I was told general so this is uh, invented by a chef from Hunan. He tried to name after the famous general, Zhao Zhongtang, General Zhou, because General Zhou is also from Hunan. I see, but we should try this. Oh, okay. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Man. It's still pretty crispy, crunchy. You get those craggy bits, but the sauce, not too sweet. No. Not, not too salty. No. Really balanced. It's really savory. Yeah. The sauce. It's really well balanced here. Yeah. Did you know this is your mom's favorite dish? General Tso's chicken is her yes. favorite dish? Yes. All right. Always. Yeah, well, she's sitting right over there. Do you want to try this? Come on camera. No? All right. Oh. Okay. Well, she's shy. More for us anyway. <laughs> So what's your favorite chicken dish? Let us know in the comments below. And for this recipe, go to americastestkitchen.com slash pang or scan this QR code. Thanks for watching. Please like this video and subscribe.